Francis. Oh. Francis, I'm so happy to see you here on my screen today. I wish we could be doing this in real life, but I wanted to show you that you're always here with us. This is a picture oh we have at the station from a show you did with us um, years I ago. That show. It was so Black, fun. Uh, Black Bear played before me, right? Yeah. Good memory. Yes. Uh, oh yeah. So well, I'm, I will never forget afterwards. Um, we we were flying home and we all got uh, what was it? This these lobster these lobster rolls. Yes. And I'll never forget how mm -hmm. good they were. I ate two of them. As you should. That's a very main thing to do. So I'm glad you got to enjoy your experience here. That's <laughs> awesome. And this week has been crazy for you. Tuesday was not just your birthday, but Happy Machine <laughs> is finally out. Why did you decide to release it on your birthday? Happy belated, by the way. Um, I don't know. It just it just was like the perfect timing. The mm -hmm. the singles had kind of rolled out um uh perfectly and it, it kind of mm -hmm. just lined up for it to be that that release uh on that day and it was just a good day of celebration mm -hmm. and you know uh I, I mean it was great that like cases are starting to go down mm -hmm. across the u.s and and the sunbelt state so I, it, it kind of just really it, it was serendipitous that it worked out so well on that date and that was the whole point of it just to like mm -hmm. cel celebrate celebrate happiness life you know we're still here we're kicking yeah. it we made it this far. That's, you know, that's awesome. Oh my gosh. So outside of releasing the album, what else did you do to celebrate 34? Um, what else did I do? Man, I, I, I really, I took the, the old person route. I didn't do anything. <laughs> okay. I, I really just relaxed mm -hmm. with my girlfriend and, um, and, uh, that's it. That's I really say. didn't do anything. Yeah. That's awesome. I mean, you're probably busy most of the year, so to take time to just kind of chill out, you're like, actually, I do that pretty often. <laughs> it, it, this, this was definitely a different one. Like, I usually mm -hmm. always celebrate the night before, yeah. and I didn't because um, we had the, the, like, release party with Triller and mm -hmm. Stella. Um, so I just kind of saved myself for that. And crazy enough, I also didn't I, – I drank, but, like, I didn't get I, – I woke up at 7 a.m. the next day. Good for you. I'm a changed man over here. I love to see that in you, Dylan Francis. That's awesome. We're growing up, I guess, you know. Exactly. I feel that. So Happy Machine, I think if you listen to it, it's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm curious to why you named it that. I that's I want it to be self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. Didn't mm -hmm. have to like I wanted my fans to know right when they they listen to it, they wouldn't have any questions just mm -hmm. because the name is exactly what it yeah. is. It's a machine to make you happy, hopefully. Yeah. Um, and that was the the whole process of it, and that was the end goal of it was when you listen to it, you kind of forget about whatever you're dealing with mm -hmm. at the time, and you just feel the music. Absolutely. I think it definitely accomplishes that. And reaching out, first track, and also the first single that you kind of released from it. Yep. What was the process like putting this one together? Um, it was really fun. We, we had gotten the original demo, um, I, I can't remember the uh, the what's it called the the demo singer that was on it, but she didn't want to stay on it. Mm -hmm. um, so it's probably good that I am not remembering her name because yeah. she like she did not. She was like, "You guys got to go find a person to sing it. This is not a part like because she's gonna have her own project coming out." Um, but when we heard what she did, I was like, "All right, we have to find the perfect person because she hits these notes in there that almost sound like Jackson Five, um, you know." esque in terms of like that high pitch falsetto so um my manager sent me bo anderson's spotify profile and i was like oh my god she's incredible yeah. let's definitely reach out to her you know ironically for reaching out and yeah. she was she was down she did it and sent us back the vocals i didn't edit anything she crushed it that hard wow. it incredible she was so so good um so shout out to bo she really brought that whole thing together because mm -hmm. I, I was really scared that it wasn't going to to be like the demo that we had and um you know with any producer you get demoitis so right, um, I bet. Get to the next level yeah for sure i would say all the features on this thing are killer like everyone kind of nailed the, some of the vocals i'm like i love them and i loved that marky basie is on this thing yes. because i do believe now sometimes it's a blur for me but i believe he was also on that show you did with black bear Wait, was he? He was on earlier in the day, and I was like, look at these paths crossing again. What? Isn't that crazy? I didn't even realize that. Mm -hmm. So. 
Wow, that's incredible. Yes, yes. that was serendipity. That was perfect. That is, that yeah. is crazy. Yep. One of the, the other thing that's cool too is I worked with him and then now Jeezy worked with him. So it's really cool that it's like, it's all weaving its yes. way through us as friends. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you guys are friends now. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of all your friends, um, I saw recently T-Pain came out during a set of yours creating this D-Pain, which I'm loving. I love the sound of that. How did that all come about? Um, okay, it's it's actually a great story. So I, it's got to be, it was around like six years ago. I actually have the picture too, yes. and I'll show it to you. So I think six or seven years ago, I was playing XS, and uh, T-Pain was there, and he showed up, and also Bob Saget was there. <gasps> <laughs> and Bob Saget was obsessed with T-Pain during that night and uh, wouldn't leave him alone, kept asking for his phone number, and here's the picture of <gasps> oh us hanging God. out. Oh, my God. That's iconic. <laughs> yeah, he came to that night. What? That's got to be, okay, let's see, September. I think it's when I, this is when I saved it. But anyways, <laughs> we came to that night, and uh, and we did the same thing. Mm -hmm. So then all of a sudden my, my tour manager recently was like, hey, T-Pain's here, um, they're, they're celebrating his wife's birthday, he wants to come up and say hi. So I was like, oh, oh my God, yeah, bring him yes. up. So he says hi and I'm like, yo, do you wanna play some songs? He's like, I don't know, man. I mean, if it, if, if it, if it allows it, you know, I, I'll do it. I don't wanna take up your time. I'm like, are Aww. you kidding me? You You're can come in like to any of my DJ sets <laughs> and crash them and I will play T-Pain songs <laughs> for as long as you will sing them. Yeah. Um, so it was just incredible. He was he, he was up there for probably 25 to 30 minutes. Wow. And I kept being like, do you want another one? He's like, if you if you want to. And I was like, come on, stop I mean, questioning, has... you're, you're the GOAT. Yeah, and he has endless hits. Like you could play T-Pain all night. <laughs> that is awesome. He's how humble. Just like if you're sure, if that's he okay the, with you. He is the sweetest Aww. guy I've ever met and like just such a good performer, yes. such a good person, uh, such a well-spoken person as well and also mm -hmm. can sing so well live. Yes. It, it's so funny when people don't know that. Uh -huh. Um like if they, they haven't seen him on the mass singer or yes. just seen him in concert, like mm -hmm. that guy has a voice of an angel. Yes. And he decided to make auto-tune the instrument of the century. Right. Um, so, pioneer right there. Absolutely. Well, I hope D-Pain, like, has a comeback. I would love we're, we're to see that again. I, I'm talking to him. We're, we're trying to see if we can do some uh, um, some house records together. Because he was like, yo, I, I really want to do this, and I want to do it correctly. And I feel like I can crush this. And I was like, let's. I sent him a bunch of demos. So, you know, fingers crossed. Yes. One, oh. I'm loving that. That's awesome. You've already worked with so many great artists. You mentioned G-Eazy earlier, DJ Snake, T-Pain now. Is there anyone yeah. who's kind of on your bucket list of people you would love to work with that you haven't yet? Bucket list. I think Fiona Apple's always oh. been on my bucket list, like yeah. since I started making music. Um, I remember when she wrote that song, Criminal, and oh. I saw that music video. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. She's such a good voice. Um, so her... Um, who else? Um, Becky Hill is uh, uh, one that I really want to work with, and she's just incredible. She just put out an album as well, and it's so, so good. Um, and am I missing anybody? Um, who else is on my list? Because we're manifesting right now. I know. We got to manifest. Yes. I know. That's what I'm trying to do. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, who else did I try to get in touch with on my album? And I think we we saved some people. Ooh. Um, who else was it? Oh, uh, we. Oh my God, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be so angry if I can't remember this name. <laughs> uh, we'll come back to it. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna remember it by the end of the mm -hmm. interview. I know. Yes. And and we talked to her. <laughs> And she was down, but it just didn't work out. So it's in, the, it's in the works. Absolutely. You'll come up, up with it before the end. I have no doubt. Yeah. <laughs> in addition to music, I know you've also kind of dipped your toes into acting as well. Yeah. Do you have anything coming out or things that we should look for? Yeah, yeah. So um, my friend Brandon Dermer, who I make a bunch of music videos with, we actually just partnered with uh, Vitamin Water and Shukin. Mm -hmm. And we're making this like really weird, cool animation show. 
uh, with them. It's going to be four episodes, and um, it's with this this company, Bleach Media. He does these like bobbleheads, so it's very much like Robot Chicken slash um, uh, slash like workaholicy slash uh, South Parky. Okay. Um, that's the best way I can describe it. It's really fun, really funny, um, and, and it's got some good cameos in it. So, so mm -hmm. we've been working on that, and then, um, and I've been working on this uh, Gerald cartoon for about like two and a half years now, yes. um, and we have the scripts, we have the script written and everything like that. So uh, we're going out to pitch it again, um, but we've been working with 20th Century Fox, or I guess they're just called 20th now. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that. Yes this year or next year but it takes it takes so much longer for this stuff to happen than music mm -hmm. it's i did not realize that until i started doing it and it's uh it's a labor of love oh. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely well it sounds like a lot to look forward to animation wise coming from you dylan Frank. yeah that's very cool yeah. out of curiosity what artists have you been listening to lately um I guess uh, like everybody, the Drake. Let me go through. Yeah. Let me go through and see. Um, Leisure actually is a is a group mm -hmm. that I've been listening to a lot. They're like really like fun indie pop, down tempo stuff. Mm -hmm. um, who I mean, I've been listening to a lot of emo music. I've, I've been going back through the Blink stuff, mm -hmm. going back through My Chemical Romance. Yes. Um, listen to Panic at the Disco. Um, mm -hmm. Honestly, so, my favorite era of music was that time yeah. period. <laughs> yeah, I love great. it. I know, I know. Yeah. Um, Swaco, he's he's been crushing it. Um, uh, so I've been listening to a bunch of his stuff. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of the emo stuff. Hell yeah. Been out. Yeah. I love that for you. Tis the season. <laughs> Right, yeah. you know, fall is time for some emo music. <laughs> and now that your album is officially out, what's next for you? Is there a tour coming up? Um, well, I have a tour next year with Young Gravy. Um, we're actually working on an EP for that tour. We're gonna try to release it before the tour so people can can listen to it because we want to do DJ set or well, we want to do sets where um, it's either me playing first and then him playing or vice versa. But then we end the show with the last 15 minutes of us both performing the songs yeah. from the EP together. Um, so we're doing that next year. I think it's January and February, um, the Sugar Spice Everything Ice Tour. Um, <laughs> Love it. And then, uh, no, I mean, I, the next next stuff right now is I'm just playing in Vegas and then mm -hmm. um, probably after this week and like enjoying the release, I'm gonna start working on Happy Machine 2.0. Yeah. Um, so that's all I have in my in my brain right now. <laughs> I love that you say that's all I have as if those aren't all like giant things, but fair enough. <laughs> Just another day in the life. I have a fan question for you. I picked oh, yeah. one lucky fan, Dylan. So this is from Brittany. She wants Brittany. to know if you didn't have your music career, what would you be doing instead? That's a good question. Um, I guess I would probably be... Uh, I would be trying to make it as an actor. Yes. I think. Because mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I necessarily would have gotten into like writing, which I now do enjoy writing. I don't consider myself a writer. Mm -hmm. um, the guy that I've been working on, Gerald's World with Spencer Porter, he's he's definitely more of the the writer, but I'm kind of like the, uh, the, the t you know, I don't know, in the background writer. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> the other one. Um, yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> I guess, yeah, I think it would be acting. I think that's probably what I, what I would have um, went for. Absolutely. Being a superstar was in your destiny, music or not. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just a guy just trying to do it, just, just trying try to make it, and, and that's that's it. I feel um, that. <laughs> I feel that <laughs> was a bridge roll. <laughs> well, my final question for you today, Dylan Francis, is here in Maine, our state motto is the way life should be. So I want to know, according to you, what is the way life should be? Just make sure you're having fun doing what, what you're doing. Um, and, you know, just try to try to try to get everlasting new joy every day. Mm -hmm. That's the I think that's what you want to go for. Yes. And whatever, whatever takes you to that you're doing it right hell yeah perfect <laughs> i love it thank you so much Dylan francis before we go did you thank think you of her name um i still okay hold on i'm gonna find it <laughs> i'm gonna find it i i know how to find it hold on. <laughs> no. okay 
And then I have to go here. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna, hold on. Here we go. No. <laughs> nope. Why can't I find it? I'm gonna have to text you. I can't. <laughs> You're just gonna have to text me later, Dylan Francis, with her oh, name. I, I, I will. Uh, you did. <laughs> you did make me remember one, and I tried this, and I'm very jealous that um, David Guetta and Galantis got to do this, but they were working with Little Mix, and I <gasps> tried, but they had broken up during quarantine, right? I think uh, one of them had like a baby, one. and one of them. Yeah. There's okay. So maybe thing. it was that. But they were, I think they weren't working and they, but they were like, well, this is cool. Maybe we can do like a remix or something like that. Um, once we figure out what we're doing. So they got that and I got really jealous because mm. Little Mix is incredible. Yes. So um, hopefully down the line that, that can work out. Yes. Well, we put it out into the universe and that's the best we can yes. do. So Little Mix, if you're out there, it's, it's on. He's ready. Yes. Please. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking with me today, Dylan. Of Great course. to see you again, and we'll keep this in the front like we always yes. do, where Perfect. it belongs. <laughs> I can't wait to see you guys soon. Yes. Hopefully I can come out there and play soon because that, that show last time was memorable. It was so memorable. Oh, I'm so glad you had a good time and all the lobster your heart desired. Yes. <laughs> Until we meet again, Dylan, take care. All right, perfect. Bye. Thank you.